I'm going to pick up where I left off with a previous video called The Liberation of Peace, which ended with this image of the center of the circle that is a heart, that is who you really are when you live at the center of the circle, who you are. You are peace. And this wall is not a wall when you live in the circle. This wall is just a, a suggestion that you are this spacious, open circle that's as big as the horizon all around us. It's only a wall when you live on the outside and the wall then is everything that in order to survive you have rejected emotionally and with beliefs and thoughts hold into place so that you end up out here looking at the peace that you want. So how to remove the wall? First, you have to reestablish this belief that this is who you are. True self-compassion. The true action of self-love is as simple as you as the circle as breath, relaxed, breathing down, as opposed to tight, Believing, thinking, I'm right, okay? So this wall now is, a, is this compassion. We are going to reach to what we've tried to throw out of the circle. So I'm going to use a story from my own life. I'm going to simplify it a little bit. This actually has almost a heart form to it, but it's very jagged and has a lot of pain. So let's say this story Let's say I'm a soldier and my best friend, my best buddy and I were, were captured and they're trying to get information out of us and they have him on the ground and they're torturing him. They're gonna kill him. It seems like they're going to kill him. They're holding me and making me watch. Of course, I'm screaming and crying and or I'm just standing there stoically perhaps, but there are these emotions that are set in movement. My helplessness my rage, I want to kill him. I want to destroy him. I want to save him, and I can't. So there's this helplessness that can have the qualities of powerless, unable to do anything. That's a feeling. And then there's the helplessness that explodes as rage. And this is a moment this, in this one moment, these are all happening at the same time. Let's say he dies. I have to go on. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to survive. I'm going to survive. So in a way, these emotions, in order to survive, I have to split them off. I have to take perhaps the, the whole event and kind of break it and I'll put this one over here on the wall and this one over here on the wall my helpless powerless tears and my killer rage now I've put them on the wall 
in order to survive. And in the survival, through my whole life, this is how I've managed myself. This is why I'm such a good soldier, because I can break those things up, stack them on the wall, and I have the illusion of calm peace of the warrior. But I don't have real peace. I have nightmares. I'm afraid of a lot of things. Then they disturb me, but nobody really can see it except my personal friends. I want back in. I want this. I have to gather these things from the wall. One of them's all the way on the outside. I have to go get it. I have to go get that piece. It's a heart too. And the other piece. I have to get them. And this act of bringing them into this circle. It isn't just about rocks. It's the energetic feeling, physical being, that these rocks, in the action of gathering, they're going to help me. But I still have to feel it. So this is where I use. So we place them in the center. This is my choice now. This is my choice now to be compassion to my terror, to my rage, to my helplessness, to my powerlessness. So however you can do that, however you can touch, rather than tense around. So in other words, let's say I have nightmares, and my nightmares are bringing me the energy of my panic, my helplessness. I'm terrorized by my own nightmares. The energy itself, I'm terrorized and I'm running away from it. I'm trying to get away from it. I'm getting away from it. I want to run away from it. I hate it. This is to live on the outside of the wall of control and the wall stays there. If I want back in, if I want back in, I have to gather these with compassion. And I have to bring the energies in to my physical body. So there are many ways to do that. I use certain movements. So in this case, maybe I'd want to be covering my face as I'm seeing it happen in my eyes, but I have to keep my eyes open. It's a sense of even though I have to be there. So, and maybe I want to stop, 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 stop. Then I relax. So I've used that to invoke the feeling. And then I just am compassionate, soft, relax around it. And then I need to bring in my rage. So there's the stop, 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 stop. And I let them come together. Stop, stop, stop. And I literally could bring the image of this person dying rather than running away from it as a nightmare that's chasing me I just let the image come closer to me to let the feeling come in the sounds of stop stop but I breathe relax treat it just as energy that wants to move I'm compassion as this relaxed softness and in that way we can bring these back together again we can bring them together again here in this heartfulness so that I can 
now stand here in the center of the circle. and gather all the things, all of them, as I move through life. And even though maybe I still have my nightmares, I relate to them differently. Even though I feel myself reacting, I relate to the, my own pain differently. I let it move like the clouds in the sky, in the wind of my compassion. The wind of my compassion moves through them. And maybe the clouds do keep forming, but I walk the path of this medicine of one as compassion to my pain. That's how I live now. And I may have pain. I may continue to have pain. But by the difference I have chosen, and relating to it, I can now live here at the center. No matter what comes to me. No matter what. <laughs>